What is up Trilogy fam? Uh, welcome back to another one of our at home workout videos. Um, first and foremost, hope everyone's staying safe, staying healthy out there. Uh, we're thinking of you guys and we're definitely hoping we can see you all soon. Um, in the meantime, we've got another video for you to try, another home workout. Um, this one is going to include uh, the use of a broomstick. So um, first things first, if you don't have a broomstick available, um, you should probably get one. <laughs> might need it uh, to clean, but uh, anything else that's similar in uh, weight and um, length to the broomstick will work. So if you have a Swiffer or something else that you can use instead, uh, that will do the job. Uh, worst case scenario, you can grab a towel or a t-shirt and, uh, and grab it from both ends and use it for a lot of the things we're going to do. Uh, number two, you are going to want to make sure that the bottom of your broomstick is cleaned off. Um, this is take two of this video, so uh, definitely don't want the dust, fur, uh, dog hair, whatever, getting into your workout, into your breathing. So make sure that is nice and clean. Um, and then from there, we're just going to get going on some of our uh, exercises here. So first thing, we're going to take, take you through a nice, easy warm up. Um, we're going to start off, inhale, exhale. Inhale halfway, exhale, forward fold. I'm gonna flip this way just so you guys can see the next part. Inhale all the way back up, exhale, plant the hands, step it back to a high plank. We're gonna catch a quick little flow. Again, this is just part of your warm up. If you want, you can drop the knees to the mat. Inhale, upward dog, keep the shoulders away from your ears. Exhale, big down dog, bicycle those knees out a little bit. Back to high plank. Go so one more time. Sink it up with your breath. And then we'll walk the feet back to the hands. And feeling good. All right, you can do that a couple more times if you'd like, but if you're ready to roll, if you've done a little warm up already, we can jump right into it. So go ahead and grab your broomstick. The first exercise that we'll be doing is gonna be an overhead squat. So the broomstick is gonna just basically extend your arms up overhead. Um, we're not really adding any weight or resistance, but the, just the, the act of extending the arm straight overhead is going to raise your center of gravity. It's going to involve a lot more core than you would on a normal squat. So you can start off going with some shallow squats. You don't have to go all the way down at first because you're going to want to find your balance. So keeping the core tight, you can gradually get a little deeper. And if you're having trouble getting past a certain point, try widening the feet just a little bit and then Dropping it down a little bit lower. Big deep breaths. Looking good guys. 15 is going to be our the magic number here for us today. If you want to do a few more or a few less, that's okay too. Um, next one we're going to do, we're going to flip over onto your back. So, we're going to start with the legs straight out, arms overhead. We're going to bring everything up, touch the toes to the bar, bring everything back down. So this is a challenge for you and that's okay. Couple things we can do, bend the knees. So if you bring it from a bent knee, that'll be a little bit easier. Shorten the lever. Or, if this is still feeling too tough, try just doing one leg at a time. So you can go 15 on the left, 
and then 15 on the right. And you want to pick your shoulder blades up just slightly off the mat as you come up. Feel all that tension straight in the abs. All right, guys, nice job. All right. Next thing we're going to do, a little bit more core work, but this time hitting the obliques. So you're going to bring the broomstick over your shoulders. Start with a nice wide stance. And then we're going to cross body crunch, elbow to the knee. The important thing here is make sure there's not any stress on your neck, your shoulders. If you can't quite get to the, the elbow, that's okay. You can modify to a slightly shorter range of motion. But you want to feel those muscles in the, in the core, in the obliques. Crunching, contracting. Go 15 each side here. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job, guys. All right, you can go ahead, repeat that circuit one more time here. Um, I'm gonna move it along, get to the next round of, of uh, exercises, try to keep this video short and sweet. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna actually head back to your mat, back on the ground, and we'll start again with the legs totally straight. We are going to roll up to a 90 degree angle. And then most importantly, we're going to roll back down nice and slow. All of that movement is starting from your core. And if you need, you can bend the knees a little bit just to give you, yourself some extra leverage. These get tough after the first few. Nice job. All right. Uh, we're, next one, we're gonna actually stay on your back and we're gonna set up the glute bridge with your knees bent. So we're gonna be driving off the heels. We're gonna actually use the broomstick across your waist and we're going to use it as a little extra resistance. So I want you to use your hands, press down into that broomstick and that's going to give us a little extra resistance on the way up. So we're going to use that manual resistance Increase the intensity. Looking good, guys. 15, maybe even 20 of those is going to be the magic number. Um, basically, you want to get to the point where it's burning. You feel it. Um, if it hasn't started burning it, do a few more. The last one we're going to do here is going to be a modified Superman. So we're going to actually grab onto the broomstick with both arms. We're going to pick up. Engage all the muscles along the posterior chain in your back. And then from here, we're going to flutter kick your feet. So we're trying to burn out the glutes, burn out the low back, keep the shoulders, the lats engaged. This one is less about counting and more about time. So we're going to shoot for about 45 seconds here. I'm realizing I don't have a clock, so I'm just going to guesstimate. But make sure you're breathing. This is a tough one to breathe on because all, you're laying on your stomach, so you, there's not much room for your lungs to expand. Shorter, smooth breaths, the way to counter back to that. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, excellent job. Go ahead and repeat that circuit as well. We're going to finish off today with a couple of light stretches to help um, relax and uh, start the recovery process. So first thing we're going to do, take a broomstick. You can go as wide as you want, but the narrower, the narrower your grip is, 
So more of a stretch, this is gonna be on the shoulders and the chest. So we're gonna go up over the top, over the back. We're gonna throw in a little side to side stretch. Big deep recovery breaths here. And then we're gonna take the broomstick, try to get it to where it's stable. Scoot the feet back a little bit and we're gonna hinge forward at the hips. Try to get a nice stretch down the back of the legs, the hamstrings, the glutes, the calves. Big deep breaths. And then last but not least, we're gonna go nice and wide. We're gonna take that broomstick all the way down to the floor if we can. Little side to side. You want to have your kids do some sweeping during this, that's a great option as well. All right, big deep breath, come all the way up. Great job, guys. Again, simple, easy to do, uh, great for all ages, all levels. Uh, doesn't require anything other than simple household broom. So. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this workout. Stay tuned for more. Um, check out our YouTube site, our Instagram page, our Facebook. Um, our website is gonna have uh, more uh, at home and um, nutritional support as well. So stay tuned for more content from us guys. Again, we're looking forward to seeing you back in the gym soon. Take care.